Hello everybody. Uh, to make an electronic circuit, uh, um, there are various techniques, um, but the most common is uh, the printer circuit board. And, uh, and to make a printer circuit board, uh, of course, you can draw the, uh, the circuit on a specific so software, such as Eagle or KiCad. And um, then you can send the, 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 the files to a factory that prints the circuit and give you this nice uh, boards. But there are many occasions where you need to make uh, just uh, an experiment circuit, uh, one-off piece that uh, uh, it is more convenient to make uh, at home because it is faster to, to have because in a few hours you have the circuits. Uh, well, in this case, uh, you need to uh, prepare the files, uh, uh, check the files, send the files uh, to the manufacturer, and wait uh, for the circuit uh, to be shipped uh, to your home. So, um, this is a far better uh, solution if you have to do something experimental that may be you have to throw away just uh, because you missed something <laughs> and uh, there are several ways to make uh, a circuit uh, like this one with uh, uh, wires that connect the components together uh, or just point to point like this uh, or uh, but what i prefer most is uh, this uh, this kind of circuit uh, where the traces are etched on the board uh, or like this and um, as you can see i don't uh, drill any hole the components are attached directly directly on the surface of the of the board like in this case and there are various ways to make uh, this circuit one of the most used is the uh, one colored uh, hot transfer where you print the circuit uh, on the piece of paper uh, with a laser printer and then you transfer the design uh, to a piece of copper cladded board like this one with a hot iron but my preferred way to make a, a, a printer circuit is to just draw the lines on the copper cladded board with a uh, with a pen. So the first uh, thing to do uh, to draw uh, the, your circuit is of course to clean very well the, the circuit board uh, material with a very very fine hole, uh, metal hole, iron hole like this and be sure that uh, all the oxide, uh, the copper oxide is removed and, uh, and to have uh, a really nice and clean uh, metal like this. So the next step is to just draw the, the circuit uh, with uh, this ink pen. Of course this technique uh, requires uh, a bit of practice uh, uh, and drawing but there is nothing exceptional <laughs> it is something that you can do quite easily you learn to do this uh, uh, put the more critical components uh, in where you think uh, it is better to place it and uh, and then keep in place and uh, put uh, a little dot uh, and the point somewhere you think the the, the pads uh, have to go and then you can draw the pads Is it visible yes Uh, I do this work with a magnifier because <laughs> I have problem to see. To let you see it through the camera, I've removed the magnifier, so 
I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing <laughs> and uh, and as you can see it is possible to draw very fine lines uh, maybe to make a guard uh, around the pin and uh, connect that uh, to another pin and uh, and once uh, you uh, have may have a little of practice uh, it's not that difficult to uh, to have an idea of the distances for the components uh, and this ink uh, um, once dried is uh, hard and uh, it's it dry pretty uh, swiftly and um, and then uh, it is um, hard and uh, and uh, is uh, resistant to the acid and uh, if something goes wrong it is easy to remove it with uh, alcohol and um, to do this job I use I use this uh, ink that comes from this uh, company Pelican which is really good it is uh, an ink a special ink for metals uh, this is uh, 84 uh, ink 84 as a disclaimer I'm not affiliated with this company uh, I'm mentioning this just because I use it and uh, and it is uh, effective for this kind of job in a half hour uh, the ink is dried out well very well and you can put this uh, the, the uh, circuit board uh, uh, into a little vessel with the inside uh, some acid to etch it. To. The acid could be a ferric chloride or a, a mixture, which is a, the one I, that I prefer, a mixture of um, hydrochloric acid uh, and uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, three or ten percent. With three percent, which is less, uh, which is more common, uh, you can use. Uh, um, one third of uh, muriatic acid and two third uh, of uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide. And um, it is important to have um, a little amount of acid just to barely cover the uh, the board. That's because uh, you reduce the, the the pollution, the amount of waste, and uh, moving uh, the vessel back and forward a little bit uh, help uh, in. Uh, uh, speeding up the reaction because the uh, the board is exposed to the air the air cons contains oxygen that help uh, in attacking the uh, the copper that uh, is not directly attack attacked by uh, the hydrochloric acid and um, when the acid becomes uh, green dark green it is time to uh, to throw it away and to neutralize the the acid sprinkle a, a, a bit of uh, baking soda or sodium hydroxide until it is completely neutralized you can check this with the pH paper either way when uh, the uh, copper is etched you will want uh, to protect the copper from further oxidation and uh, I, I think the best way is to cover it with the shellac <laughs> Shellac comes in flakes and uh, could contain some impurities, typically between 3 to 8 percent. It is a very good insulator and has a moderate resistance to moisture and do not dissolve in water, but has a relatively high dielectric permeability, so it is not recommended for high frequency circuits. To prepare the shellac, pour 20 percent in volume of flakes into a jar and fill it with the ethyl alcohol at 99% for the remainder up to 100% in volume. Uh, close very well the jar and let it dissolve for almost 24 hours and then with a fine cloth filter the liquor into a bottle. So the product is ready to be used. Then when, with a simple uh, paintbrush you just uh, pour a very thin layer of uh, of shellac and let it dry for uh, for 15 minutes or so it will dry it out in uh, about uh, one day 
but it can be touched and, uh, and used just uh, after 15 minutes. Shellac not only is uh, a good uh, protection for the board, but it is easy to remove just with uh, alcohol. Shellac not only is a good insulator and protection and provide a good protection for the copper, but also acts as a, a flux for the for the solder and uh, let the solder to, to wet very well the, the, the copper and uh, and without any residue uh, around it. And finally uh, this ink comes with uh, in white uh, so it can be used to, to draw some indications on the on the circuit board with the same technique. And I think it's a good option to make experimental printed circuit boards. <laughs> so that's all folks, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!